This is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am stopping in to share a new video tutorial with you featuring my most favorite stamp set in the annual catalog this year and last year, and that's the Hippo Happiness stamp set. And I love this stamp set because it's so versatile. It's not just for children. You can use it on scrapbook pages, cards, tags, bags, and so much more. And I also was able to uh, design this as part of my million dollar achievement with Stampin' Up uh, a few years ago. So I love to showcase all of the different projects you can make with this. And I was working on some thank you cards for some of my amazing customers. And the card turned out so cute that I thought I'd just shoot a quick tutorial showing how I made it. So we will go ahead and start with the stamping. And I'll share everything that I'm using to make this card uh, directly on the screen along with the sizes and the item codes. If you have something that you could use in your craft room to make a card that's similar, either the card layout or the color combination, pull out your crafty goodies and do this along with me. If you don't own it yet and you'd like to purchase it, everything you see in today's video is available while I'm filming this video on my shopping page, and that's shopmypinkstamper.com, and I am Robin Carden. Okay, so we'll go ahead, and I'm going to grab a mini, a small grid pad for background, and I am going to pull out just a scrap piece of our basic white cardstock, and I'll start with the two-step stamping with the Smoky Slate Classic Ink Pad. And this is how I do the two-step stamping. It's called two-step stamping because it takes more than one stamp to complete the image. And the great part about two-step stamping is you don't have to color. If you're not in the coloring mood and you don't wanna pull out your uh, different ways to color uh, lined images, you can just make a beautiful design using the two-step stamping. So I always start with my dark first. So I'm going to stamp, we're using the little sheep. I'm going to stamp the sheep right here. And then I am going to make this lighter, a lighter version by stamping the larger image and then stamping it off one time. And then I'm going to line this up the best that I can, just like that. So I always start with the dark first. If you start with the light first, it's kind of hard to see through to line up the, to do it the other way. So this is just a little tip that I wanted to share with you guys. And also we are going to now be using the Melon Mambo ink pad. And I'm just going to stamp a little bow up here that we'll cut out separately. So easy and so cute. So it can be a bow tie and it can, it can be a bow, either one. Now I'm going to pull out our Tuxedo Black Memento and I am going to stamp the cute little smiley face right here. So now we have a cute little smiley face. It's so adorable. All right, I can set those aside just for a second. And the next thing we're going to do is we will be doing a little bit of stamping and heat embossing in just a second. But first we're going to pull out our stamping cut and emboss and we'll cut out some of the images. I have all of the plates here ready to go. We'll start by cutting out the sheep and we're going to cut out the bow. So the great thing about the Hippo Happiness stamp set is there's a coordinating die set called Hippo and Friends which I'm super excited about. So you can also have these cut out for your projects. And there's also some other shapes in the die set that we're going to be using on today's card. Okay, I'm just gonna run that through. Okay, so I have my sheep and I have my hair bow, and I'll set this over here. I'll try not to lose it. Okay, so now I'm also going to be cutting out a couple other images. We'll start with this. This is in the new 2022 
mini catalog and I'll have the name of the paper along with the item code directly on the screen. But it's so beautiful, look at that. It's nice and shiny. And I'm going to grab this shape from the Hippo and Friends dies. And I'll run that through. Okay, and now we're going to do a couple more die cuts. And I'm using just the smaller nesting frame that also comes in this die set, Hippo and Friends. We're going to be using a scrap piece of Daffodil Delight. Run that through. And I'm also going to be using the same exact die. And we're cutting Granny Apple Green, cutting one in Granny Apple Green. Okay, we are almost ready to put this card together. It's super, there's a lot of different steps, but they're not hard. Now we're going to be taking a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock, and this is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to stamp on the right bottom side, and I'm going to be using our Versamark ink pad. And I'm stamping the sentiment, thank you so much. Some of you know that I like the punny sayings. So I'm gonna really quickly get out my white embossing powder. This is from our Basics collection. It comes with the clear, the white, and the black embossing powder. Okay, so I'm going to ink up, thank you so much, the bottom right in the Versa mark, which you can't really see, but it's great because it's it picks up the little crystals of the embossing powder. And now we're going to grab the heat tool. Now, like I said, if you're just getting started and you'd like to recreate this card, just stamp this part in black. And then you can go ahead and have a card that is almost exactly the same as mine. Okay, so we're going to be using the heat tool and I just aim it away from my body. If you want to put it in circles, you can, or if you'd like to heat it from the bottom underneath, you can. This is how I do mine. There's no one right way uh, to do heat embossing. There's many different ways. All right. Okay. And look at how that just pops off the paper. Now we can put this together. We're going to take the little bow and I'm going to grab some of our liquid glue. This is our multi-purpose glue. And I'm just going to put a little dot right here and that way I can grab my little bow and just stick it on here. Now I have my little sheep like that. And now I'm going to grab, this is our paper trimmer. This is called Stampin' Up Paper Trimmer. And I'm going to take this little green die cut and I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to cut maybe about Mm, it's it's about half, a little over half of an inch from the bottom. So just cut about a half of an inch. And then you can use the other side if you wanna make more than one. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the bottom of this, the back of this, not the bottom. And I'm going to add this right onto this Daffodil Delight image. And the reason why is I wanted the sheep to appear to be on grass. So it's just a cute little idea and super easy, anyone can do it. Now I have our Stampin' Dimensionals. Just add one on the back of the sheep and then I'm going to put it right here. So, hello, yay, I'm so excited, hello. Okay, the last thing, well not the last thing, that's not the right word, Robin. The next thing, <laughs> we're going to put Dimensionals on the back, and these are called Stampin' Dimensionals. You get 300 in a pack, and they last most people a long time. They don't last me as long because I use them on every crafty thing I make. If you've ever received something in the mail from me, you know I love my dimensionals. I use them all the time. I even use them in my scrapbooking and all of the good things. Okay, so I have that. I added that on there. 
just for a little bit of a touch of pizzazz. Oops. Okay, now we're going to start layering this up. I have this piece of Sunshine and Rainbows paper that is free right now. This is January and February 2022. This is free right now on my website during celebration with a $50 order. Uh, it's called uh, Sunshine and Rainbows. So after you place a $50 order and you're checking out, you get to choose free items. And this is one of the free items. It's a six by six pad of the cutest paper ever. So this is what I chose for this card. And this is two inches by uh, five inches. I couldn't remember for a second. And I'm going to add adhesive. I'm using our seal, stamp and seal adhesive. And I like it because it's refillable and it's super easy to use. So I'm just going to add that to the top of this one right here. Now I'm going to turn this over and I tried to pull out colors from the rainbow. As you can see, I used the daffodil and I used the granny apple. I used the melon mamba or you could use our polished pink if you'd like, or even the magenta what coordinates with this paper. And I've also pulled out the Knight of Navy. So there's some navy blue in there. And I cut this piece to four and by five and a quarter. And I'll add this on here. And this kind of just makes it all pop out. It just really works so well together, okay? And now I'm going to add that on a piece of our thick basic white cardstock. I have this cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches, and I've also scored it at four and a quarter. And you could score on our paper trimmer. It has a scoring blade, which is so nice. It's just, it just comes with it. Okay, I'm gonna fold that in half. Now I'm going to add some of our seal and make sure that I have this opening the right way. How many of you have put a card together and then you realize you put it on upside down? I've done that before. I've even sent it to a customer upside down one time. One of you may have received that special card. <laughs> it was specially made for you. You know it's handmade when, you, when it's upside down, right? When you get it in the mail. Okay, well, I'd love to hear from you. If you would like to leave a comment below, I read all of my comments. If this is your first time stopping by, please let me know. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and it's really important that you hit the little notification bell and then you'll be notified when I have a new video tutorial, which I think is so handy. So you know and you're notified when I have one. Okay, so here is my video for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. You can find more of my video tutorials, my creations, and my weekly giveaways directly on my website, mypinkstamper.com. I'll see you soon. Bye.